All right, let's break this down and understand the structure and logic of this code. First, we have the basic HTML structure of a web page. The doc type declaration tells the browser that this is an HTML5 document, and it's set to use the latest version of HTML. The HTML tag with a language set to English tells the browser the language of the content, in this case, English. Inside the head section, we're defining some essential metadata. First, there's the character encoding, which ensures the page can display all types of characters, even special symbols. Then, there's a tag that ensures the page is responsive. This means that the page will adjust its layout to look good on any device, whether it's a desktop, tablet, or mobile phone. Next, we have the title of the page, which is the name that appears on the browser tab. In this case, the title is MNTN landing page. Following this, we are linking to external style sheets, CSS files, that will define the look and feel of the web page. These files will help style the page and make it visually appealing. Now, moving to the body section, we start linking external JavaScript libraries. These libraries are pre-built pieces of code that offer advanced functionality without needing to code everything from scratch. The first library is Lenis, which helps with smooth scrolling. Instead of the regular jumpy scrolling you might be used to, Lenis makes the scrolling feel smooth and natural, as if you're sliding through the page. Next, we have GSAP, which stands for Greensock Animation Platform. It's a powerful tool for creating animations. GSAP lets you easily animate elements on the page. It includes plugins like Scroll Trigger, which triggers animations based on the user's scroll position. This allows you to create effects where elements move or change as you scroll down the page. There's also the Scroll to Plugin, which enables smooth scrolling to specific sections on the page, making things like scrolling to the top or to a different section much smoother. Finally, there's a custom script that we wrote ourselves. This script will tie everything together, bringing in the libraries and applying the animations and smooth scrolling effects we want for the page. So, to sum it up, we are using these libraries to make our web page interactive and visually dynamic, with smooth scrolling and animations that react to the user's actions on the page. And that's it for today's breakdown. But don't worry, this is just the first part of our journey. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into how we implement and customize these libraries with code. We'll go through animations and scroll triggered effects step by step. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss the next part in the series. I'll see you in the next one.